Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. I'm getting my lighting and stuff set up in my studio. Not really my studio, this is kind of my miscellaneous junk room office type dealio where I made a little wall. I don't know, I think it looks cool. And I'll sometimes film in front of. I'm working on a handful of gear videos this week. This being one of them. Get home bag being one of them. A cool, a couple of uh, like solar generator battery type things for preparedness and overlanding or whatever. But basically, knocking out some gear reviews this week, uh, amongst other personal things like trying to get this this barn shop thing built. And my light, oh, I got a new light. I like finally got an actual studio light, and it is bright in my face. So anyway. Let's talk about what we're talking about in this video. This video we're talking about the duffel, my favorite duffel. This is a Vertex collab with my, actually I'm wearing my flannel, which is another Vertex quest. Flannel season, guys, I've been getting tagged in uh, people wearing this flannel on, on the old Instagram. And apparently there's a big thing where the girlfriends and the wives steal the husband's flannels and they're loving this flannel. It's got pockets, it's got all kinds of stuff. So if you're looking for a nice winter flannel, I got this in three different colors on Vertex's website. I got a code on Vertex's website. Last line always says 15 or more percent off. This is my second collaboration with Vertex. It's it's not real, it's it's not a new bag. It's a bag that I've been using of theirs that I've loved for a long time. This is the contingency 45 liter duffel. And I just wanted to make my own color scheme, kind of signature colors, I guess. If you guys have been following me for any amount of time, you know I'm a big fan of kind of earthy olive, sage, greens, and oranges. So we got, this is kind of a sage, olive, I don't, it's, it's in the sage, olive, green family here with orange, not quite like super obnoxious hunter orange, a little more, uh, muted, but still a very orange zipper. So this is a 45 liter duffel bag, probably the most feature packed duffel on the planet. One that I've, I've used, you've seen me use for, for a very long time. I use it traveling, whether that's on a plane or more often just in my vehicle or, you know, in the van on a longer trip or just a short overnighter. I'll throw either a week's worth of clothing in here or I'll just throw an overnight of like everything and food and all kinds of junk. So it's kind of a used in a lot of different ways type of bag, I guess. So yeah, it's available now in... I'm guessing somewhat limited quantities. I don't think this is gonna be a staple, a mainstay of theirs colorway, unless it sells a bunch, then they may restock it, but I'm not sure yet. So anyway, in this video, we're just gonna quickly kind of go through the features, uh, why I love the bag so much, why I wanted to kind of make a signature edition of it. And yeah, also you've seen me probably be wearing these beanies. This is actually like a perfect, a perfect match these, they, they may be on, they're not on the site as I'm filming this, but if I can get them on the site, if I have time to, before this video launches, llod.us slash gear is where I have like a very limited amount of merch. But these are cool, this is Polar Tech, fully fabrics made in the US, stitched in the US, uh, whatever this emblem is embossed, what what are they called? This is a screen printed maybe, I don't know. Fully 100% made in the US. I have them here, shipping them from the US as well. So it's kind of a, it's a much more expensive beanie for me to produce, especially in limited quantities. So I'm not making much money on these, but they're up on the website right now. I did a limited run to see if you guys love them. I love them, super lightweight compress, compact down into nothing, and just a great little beanie for for winter. So anyway, the duffel. So the other thing that came out, sorry, we'll get to the duffel here in a second. I'm not gonna go through and show each one of these, but Vertex actually just released a bunch of new Tactigami. Now what Tactigami is, is Vertex's 
uh, really, it's getting better and better. The first kind of generations of Tactigami were a little clumsy. You needed like a PhD to know how to use them and put them together. Now they're getting very good. So they have, I don't know which ones of these are out. So they sent me a bunch of kind of pre-production stuff. So maybe not everything I'm showing is out yet, but I know they did just release a bunch of them. So what it is, is basically Velcro, real Velcro, uh, loop and hook. So a lot of these have, they're based on their, a lot of their backpacks, not even just Vertex bags, but a lot of other bags as well, have the soft side of Velcro, the loop side of Velcro, and all of the Vertex products have the hook side of Velcro. So it slaps on, you can kind of make your own organization, you can pick and choose, well, am I gonna put a bunch of pens and flashlights and little things, or am I gonna put bigger things like, AR mags and radios, you got like these kinds of pouches. So these will secure onto, like I said, pretty much every Vertex bag and a lot of other bags out there. So they have the smaller little organization, you know, radio pouches, mag pouches, AR, AK mag, singles, doubles, these ones, which I just think are super handy, which you can put all kinds of little organization of items, batteries and stuff. They got some bigger ones. This one's more like a laptop sleeve. Kind of cool because it has more loop on the inside so you can kind of, let me just pull a couple of these apart just to show you. Further organize the inside if you don't want to use it just like a straight up laptop compartment. Put them on the outside, you can mix and match, put some bigger ones, put some smaller ones, you can stack them, you can do all kinds of stuff. They got kind of regular semi see-through zippered pouches. A lot of really good stuff. So Vertex is kind of moving to, uh, not moving to, they've been doing it a long time, kind of a modular storage system based largely around Velcro and Tactigami. So this bag has a lot of interior organization. Some of Vertex's other bags don't have as much. They they kind of moved away from having so much built-in organization to allowing you to customize it a little, a little more with Tactigami. This has a lot of built-in organization, but also quite a few Velcro panels if you wanna further configure it. So this bag, real quick, I have it loaded with some gear, so we'll kind of roughly get you the measurements. It's about, I wanna say 23 inches wide. It's about a foot by, ooh, this has got a bunch of mud caked onto it. A foot by maybe, 11, 10, it's somewhat structured, but obviously can compress down. So I've carried this on all kinds of airlines, never been hassled. So it's it's right in that carry on size. And again, can kind of smush down if they have, if they really make you try to put it in a thing, but I've never had to do that. So it's comprised of a main compartment. We'll just kind of get into here. I had a comment on Instagram. Someone asked me if a plate carrier can fit in here. So I just threw one in. This is, doesn't have pouches in it, but uh, this is just kind of an extra that I was building out, but it does have the thicker plates. That is a super light, this is a Defender armor with their ceramic or whatever, super lightweight, but thicker plates. That fits in here just fine for anyone that's wondering. And then, so the, again, it kind of stays structured. It has pretty much nothing in it other than this Q mini fix from Shooting Surplus, which all, I'll get into why I have that here in a little bit. So the main compartment, big, all of these little sleeves are slightly padded, Not no like crazy, crazy, big, bulky, heavy padding, but a little bit of padding basically uh, on, on every side to add a little bit of protection for your goods. But a big main open pocket here. The interesting thing about this pocket, we'll get into some of the interior organization. It has these two little snaps here on both ends of this. So if you just, if they're snapped, it just kind of opens. It's kind of a regular duffel bag. That's how I use it 99% of the time. But if you unsnap these, pop, pop, this actually whole thing folds down to be oh, a, you know, a gun cleaning mat, a changing mat, an organization, a building station, a Lego drop zone, whatever you want to do with it. This doesn't come off. It stays attached, but it's like a nice little, again, slightly padded 
organization mat. So you can use that kind of however you want to use it, but that's a feature I honestly don't use that much. And then it has this flap here. So when you do open the, the bag, all your stuff doesn't spill out. So it kind of stays in there nicely. And then when this is back up, that divider now is kind of a divider. I use this as like a laptop sleeve or to put taller, skinnier items in here if you have documents or whatever, something that'll fit in here. So it's kind of a little separation. This little pouch is, or this little flap rather, is hook Velcro backed. So again, you can slap your Tactigami or your holsters. I sell a Velcro holster. It's called the Stage 5 Clinger. If you know the reference, cool. And you can put that right there. On the opposite side of the bag are two bigger organizational pockets here and here. So this is where I'll keep uh, sometimes snacks, wet wipes, uh, you know, little toiletries. I got some Q-tips and flossers, miscellaneous smaller items that basically I always want to travel with and you know don't don't want to be without. Uh, two of those pockets, the pockets are semi-transparent, so you can kind of at a glance see what's in there. And then it has one other on the end here. They each have zippers, and this one I kind of it's kind of my tech pouch. I'll keep extra chargers, cables, wall plugs, stuff like that in here. So that's stuff that I'm basically always taking with me when I travel. And that's kind of the main compartment. On the outside, it does have two backpack straps. I left them on. I actually always take off one of the straps. I just single strap it when I'm you know, carrying it around the airport or whatever, carrying it from my house to my car. I don't usually have the double backpack straps on, but if, you're, if you want to, you can. Also, they combine into a single side kind of, you know, normal duffel carry or over the shoulder type bag. These are super easy to remove. They just have clips on either end that go into these hooks. You could cross shoulder them, use one or the other, whatever you want to do. There's also a few kind of lashing points if you want to, if you want to hook up some other accessories or, or whatever you want to do there. It's kind of a, I'm going all kinds of order. This is off the cuff as it usually is. Not like a fully waterproof, but water resistant. You could treat it if you wanted to make it fully waterproof, but uh, kind of a good wearing, scratch resistant type of nylon material. Also super handy on each end, you have these grab handles. So if it's on your car and you just need to pull it out that way, that's what I use them for all the time. Or if you just want to carry it like this, you can. Those are slightly padded as well. On this side, we have a compartment over here that I took a lot of stuff out of here, but I got some snacks. I usually have some medical items in here. I do have just a cat tourniquet Velcroed. So this is loop Velcro again, so you can put more organization on this end. And it's a pretty big pocket over here. This is also a lot of Vertex bags are kind of weapon centric if you want them to be. So this has the big grab handle. You can pull this off if you don't want the big grab handle or you can switch it to a different zipper if you want just easy access to the zipper to gain access. The reason it comes by default on this pocket is because there's kind of a hidden channel over here. This is a little adjustable, this whole panel which is this panel kind of in here, has a little bit of adjustment with some Velcro that you can kind of make it a little bigger or smaller or play with it if you want. Again, the bag isn't a huge, huge duffel, so it doesn't hit a fit a huge, huge gun, but a little foldy guy like this Q Fix, it actually has a, I think it's a one to six loop hold on it. So it's not a super tiny, I mean, it is a pretty compact gun, but kind of tall. Uh, and it's about the biggest gun that I grabbed it. I had a few other guns that were a little small and could fit in there easy and a few other guns that were too big. So this will be able to just slide in the end here. And then this will zip up. And then 
you have a truck gun or whatever, obviously you're not gonna be able to travel like that on an airplane or something. Well, maybe you are, maybe you will depending on, depending on who you are. But then you got that gun in there, you still got pretty much, you got the same amount of space, you still got these pockets. This is a little padded to kind of, you know, you can't see the shape of the gun anywhere here. So it's a pretty nondescript way to transport that kind of a weapon system. If you don't wanna carry a weapon in there, you could fit whatever, you know, whatever else in that kind of long pocket there. So that's a, that's a cool, cool feature. Then on kind of the, I don't know, we'll call this the front of the bag, maybe. There's two hook spots here. That's mostly, you know, you wanna put some patches, some morale patches or whatever here, or some ID patches. There's a little, this is a mesh compartment here, sized for like a business card or an information tag, something like that right there. This pocket, Again, I emptied some of this out just so you could see the pockets a little better. Is a long, skinny pocket, so you could put you could put laptops in here. This one's not really that pad like this part here isn't really that padded, so you might want to put a sleeve in it, you know. Like I think this is a little too big, but you know, you could do something like that, but really there's a bunch of organization in here. So larger zippered pocket here with the same kind of semi-transparent mesh, a little pocket here, some kind of pen sized pockets here, then more pockets behind there. And again, we have loop Velcro here. If you wanna put some stuff, a little key retainer there. And then, Bottom is a more kind of rubberized, higher wear. This is if you set it on like the ground and it's a little wet, it's not gonna soap up, soak up through there. So kind of the whole bottom section is that kind of more resistant rubber material as well as on the back. I may be missing some features because this, again, this bag is feature feature packed as I'm sure you're you're seeing. So yeah, I just, it's a great bag. It's a, it's a perfect size for me. I can live out of this thing for a week. I like the semi-structured nature of it so I can kind of dig in and my bag's not collapsing on me. I like the separation, the pocket organization so I can put little things here. And once you kind of have your bag set up, you know where your little pieces are, kind of what pocket is your snack pocket, what pocket is your, your hygiene pocket, what pocket is your tech pocket. So that's kind of how I have it laid out here. And man, it's just a great bag. It's been my, my favorite duffel for a long time. I've had the popular North Faces and Patagonias and this and everything. And I just, this one is laid out right for me. Maybe not for you, but it's right for me. I don't, I just didn't like the duffels that had no organization. You just throw everything into a trash bag, might as well. So this fixed that for me. So this is it. Kind of my, my second collab project with Vertex. I'd like to eventually design some just like from ground up bags, but probably not a duffel because I don't think I would change much about this bag. I probably will design a backpack with them eventually and some more clothing items. Like I wanna do a pair of pants, jackets, some other stuff. But this, du this duffel is pretty much perfection. So now it's just a color that I absolutely love. And the other thing about like, maybe you're not, maybe you're not a fan of orange. Some people don't like orange, but I love orange. Like my, all my travel Pelican cases are orange. They're not black, OD, they're, they're orange. And part of the reason is I want it to stand out. A travel bag, something that's gonna maybe be checked at the airport in the carousel, something that's gonna maybe be at camp, something I'm gonna be with a group, big group of people and I have it out. I. I want it to stand out. I don't want someone to be like, oh, that's a very nondescript bag. It'll be easy for me to grab and, and walk off and nobody will be the wiser. I like bright stuff for, tra for travel stuff, especially. It's different. I'm gonna do a video here soon about a get home bag, 
my get home bag, my thoughts are basically the opposite. I want it to be pretty non nondescript. I want it to blend in, but a travel bag, I want it to stand out. So this, you know, it's got a little bit of pop. People will do that a lot with travel bags. They'll put, you know, pink tape on the handle or, or something like that. So this kind of has it, has it built in and I just think it looks good. Olive green and orange is just a combo, a combo made in heaven. So I love it. Hope you guys do too. This is for sale on Vertex's website. Right now, again, I have a code there that saves off, that saves you money on everything on their website to include this bag. I believe I have a, I have a link on their site now. I think it's vertex.com slash last line or last hyphen line. And that'll be a page where essentially all of my gear lives. So right now there's two, hopefully there's some more in the future. And again, flannel season's here, the best, the best flannel, Vert, the, the verdict's in, the ver, verdict, not vertex, the verdict is in. I've had a lot of feedback on this flannel and all of it positive. It's people say, oh man, this is better than I thought it would be and I thought it would be good. So, so I think that's it, just a one take, super simple, ended up being 20 minutes because I can't make a video under 20 minutes. Let's be honest. Love this bag. Uh, hopefully you do too. If you do, pick it up. Use my coupon code to save some money. If it sells well, that tells Vertex, hey, this Mike guy maybe maybe is on to something. Let's, let's let him design some more products. So hopefully this one does well and the flannel. And as always, appreciate you guys' support. Let me know if there's other, if there's other collabs with other brands that you really think I should be doing. If there's other stuff in Vertex's world that you really want me to develop. If there's features for this or for that that you'd really want me to bake into future products that I develop, let me know. And I will do my, I'll do my best. To, to try and figure those things out. All right, guys. Well, until next time, take care.